Welcome to Engage. I'm your host, Ruth Todd. Thanks for joining me as we tell the story of engaged learning at Utah Valley University. Engaged learning is the combination of traditional academic and hands-on learning, and it's a point of emphasis at UVU. For many UVU students, that means earning a degree while simultaneously building a resume in their chosen field of study. On this program, we showcase examples of students who are learning by doing. On today's episode, we're spending some time with UVU's internationally recognized ballroom dance team. In May 2010, this team was invited to compete with a handful of other schools on the hit television show, Dancing with the Stars. We talked with the team about the experience of putting their talents on display for millions to see. I got into dance. It was actually my cousin. She was going to a week camp at BYU and needed a partner. I started dance when I was really little. My sister would come home and she'd make me dance with her so I'd learn the guy's step. I started dance 10 years ago. Um, my mom put me in it because I wasn't very good at any other activities or sports. I have been dancing since I was three years old. I'm pretty much a one-trick pony. I started here about 20 years ago. I was sort of recruited and interviewed um, to start a full-fledged ballroom program. We started with just one team. I remember having about six students in my first class 20 years ago. And we've developed it now into a program where the company has four teams. We offer a Bachelor's of Science in Movement Studies right now for ballroom dance. Dancing with the Stars is a television program put on by ABC where top professional ballroom dancers are paired with celebrities and these celebrities will come onto the show and will receive a couple weeks of training and compete against other couples of the same nature for the top prize on the show and they'll start it with six or eight couples or ten couples maybe for a season go through an entire um, television season and compete for that mirror ball at the very end. We found out about it by our director Scott Asbell and he told us during one of our rehearsals that you know we got a call from ABC's Dancing with the Stars and we, they'd like for us to audition to go on the show and we were all of us just what are you talking about? Like it was, it was, it was crazy. We didn't believe him at all. I think one of the girls actually said, "Like, no, you're lying. I don't believe you." Just flat out. Once we found out we were actually going to be on the show and be a part of it, and we'd actually see our face on national television, uh, I got really excited and called my mom up really fast and told her and told a couple of my really close friends. That was really. That was an exciting thing. Well, when we were first contacted, it wasn't a straight invitation, we want you on the show. It was a, we're looking at doing a collegiate competition, we're looking at you as one of the participants, could you send us some video material? We sent the video material in, um, they sent back some comments back, this is nice, um, we like what you're doing, um, would it be possible for you to do this? When I talked to Amanda in LA, she said that 27 universities had been looked at total. Um, before the four were chosen to actually go on to the show and compete with each other. When I first heard about it, I was excited, and my very first thought was, this is going to be great for the dancers' resumes. This is going to be great for their education. This is going to set them off, no matter what direction they leave this university in and what career they take up. Having Dancing with the Stars, everybody, any employer is going to know that, and that's going to look well upon them in their, in their interviewing process. It was a huge amount of work because we were preparing to go to the Open British Championships in Blackpool, England. Um, we already had a very heavy rehearsal schedule established, um, new routines we were preparing. Um, this was going to add to that. Um, but both of these events were um, very valuable to our dancers, so I thought, let's just push ahead and do this. I sent the video in, and it wasn't five minutes later I received an email back. And it was two words. Wow, Scott, bold type. And that was from ABC. They were impressed. At first I wasn't sure if it really was gonna happen, but I was really excited and thrilled to hear that this opportunity was presented to us. I just wanted to really push myself to work harder because I know this was gonna be a big deal. I knew that you know all of America was watching us, whole Utah, we've gotta represent our school, our team, our, our state. 
When I realized that we were actually going, we were there, I felt like I was going to explode inside. I believe that we had about three weeks to prepare. Um, ABC asked that we, um, they said we like these two dances, take this dance, cut it down to two minutes. Um, so we had to re-choreograph it and set it for a very uh, small stage. Actually, we auditioned four numbers in case they didn't like one or two. So we auditioned four and they chose two that they really liked and those are the two that we used. The, the samba, they liked it, but they couldn't get the rights to the music. So we had to create a whole different samba four days before we went on the show. It was very intense. People were kind of fighting with each other. It was just a crazy, crazy experience. With lots of practice requirements, we definitely had some injuries. I fractured my foot, but I definitely had to make sure that I wrapped it and iced it and did the proper things that were required to fix the foot. I felt like we were giving probably more of our efforts, though, towards the Dancing with the Stars show at this point. We've been to Blackpool before, and I felt that our resources would be better served, perhaps for the students in the university, if we, if we made, did well in Dancing with the Stars. Uh, President Holland spoke with me and said that he felt that our performance in Dancing with the Stars was going to give the university more publicity than it, it had ever had before, and probably for the next 20 years. I don't know what the viewing audience was like, but I heard numbers tossed around 20 to 30 million people watch this show. When we come back, the UVU ballroom team goes to Hollywood. Welcome back to Engage. We're following the UVU ballroom dance team's journey from their practice studio at the Orem campus to Hollywood's biggest stage. UVU was one of four teams nationally selected for the first ever college competition on Dancing with the Stars. In a competition that included teams from UC San Diego, Purdue, and Rutgers, UVU shined the brightest, wowing the judges and winning over millions of TV viewers with their precision and flair. On the first show, we flew into LA in the afternoon, and that night we went on, we went onto the set. So when we went to the studios, uh, we would first go upstairs and they would put us in these little rooms. Each team got their own room and we had one for the boys and one for the girls. And we would sit there for a while and then they would pull us in and they would do makeup for everyone. Then we would do a uh, dress rehearsal where they would do a whole mock show. They had fake judges, they had fake scores. And we got to meet some of the professionals and some of the celebrities and that was awesome. It was, it was almost more impressive to meet the professionals than the actual celebrities because that's the people that we look up to. The studio was ice cold because there's so many lights in that place um, they need to keep it that way for our first rehearsal actually getting some time on the floor. Um, the next day we were sequestered basically um, to the studio for the entire day. Well, we, we went through security in the morning, we got our um, passes to move around from place to place. They started the show, I think it was about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, started doing some taping and stuff, and we went down around 5 o'clock uh, for our portion of the competition. Dancing the Cha-Cha-Cha, Utah Valley University.
the first competition was going to be judged by the three judges who um, host the show, as well as audience vote. Uh, my big concern all along was that Utah has a small population, and certainly we, we could get the, 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 the local populace to vote for us and to watch the show, but I was concerned because Rutgers University is in Brunswick, New Jersey, where there are a huge population center for the United States. Our media department did a wonderful job with contacting people, getting the word out. Um, the news stations were visiting us regularly. Our, our rehearsals were being interrupted because we were constantly being interviewed. People were constantly coming in and making tape shots of us, um, shooting photography. They did an amazing job. I was so proud of them. The amount of difficulty that they put into their routine and then they nailed it. They were, it was difficult choreography and I was really proud of them to hit everything. The competition ran, um, they went first, we went second, and when our kids came off the stage, they were, it was unreal. I about got plowed down by them. I remember Hope Jackson was the first one off the stage and she just, she hit me like a linebacker. I almost fell over. And they were so excited. And, and if you watch the tape, they did incredible. Probably one of the sharpest, cleanest performances I've ever seen my dancers do in my 20 years here. Fantastic choreography! Brilliant patterns, well executed, and your technique is incredible. Fantastic. All right, Carrie Ann. Okay, grab your paddles. Let's uh, see our judges' scores. Carrie Ann. Ten. Glenn. Nine. Bruno. Ten. My goal was nine, nine, nine. I wanted to get nines because that was even better than all of the prior schools. But when Carrie Ann held up her 10 paddle, I was started screaming. I got teary eyed and then also when Bruno did, I was just amazed because they don't just give out those 10s. Those those have to be earned. I think they have a great chance. They're very, very good and they look they look good together and everyone's very it's a great unison. They were great. I think we're I was watching their hip movement and trying to learn a little something from them, but they looked really good. It's fantastic to have, you know, my native you know where I'm from, Utah, you know, have them come in here and, and kick butt too, not only just to be on here but to actually, you know, represent really well. The show was finished, everybody thanked us, we got on the air, um, got on our flight, fly home the next day. Um, we arrived in Salt Lake City and I was sitting in the um, bus going out to long-term parking and I had a couple of the dancers with me and I received a telephone call. And at that point, um, Amanda called me and says, guess what guys, you guys have won. When we come back, UVU steals the show again and I'll talk with the team's director, Scott Asbell. Welcome back. Before the 2010 season of Dancing with the Stars, most people outside of Utah had never heard of UVU. After the ballroom dance team's showing, however, UVU became a household name for tens of millions. After being voted through to the finale, UVU faced Purdue for the coveted Mirror Ball Trophy. Once again, UVU's skill and preparation paid off as the Wolverines stole the show. You know, the second time we went out was a little bit different experience. Um, Dancing with the Stars was now the number one show in the United States again, and so it was crowded. They had a lot of celebrities who were returning. Our time for rehearsal on the floor was very, very short. Um, there wasn't the same attention given us as there had been before. Well, this time we came in and we got to meet like the people we were competing against. Instead of kind of, last time we were a little more standoffish, I think we feel a little more comfortable this time meeting them. I'm feeling pretty good right now. And then that afternoon we went on. It was pretty much the same layout, except that our number was shorter and there were a lot more people there because all the other celebrities were standing around. Please welcome Utah Valley University. <laughs>
You know, on the second time of the performance, for me, it was the same as the first in the respect that I didn't get to see it live. I would have preferred to have been out in the audience. They kept me backstage with a, a very fine, high-definition screen, and I thought they were absolutely perfect. I thought the second time around, I couldn't see hardly any errors. I thought they did incredible. David Moon, when he did that opening jump, he immediately stole the room. It was one of the proudest moments of my life in all the years I've been teaching to watch those kids do that. Um, they gave no score at the end. It was They lined the two teams up. Um, they had the host come out with the trophy, and the judge said, and we, um, both of you teams have improved very much. But our winners are Utah Valley. All right, congratulations. Here is a collegiate size baby Mirabal trophy. Congratulations. It was a really interesting experience when we found out we had won because we actually didn't really hear it at first, but they just like turned over to us and just handed us the trophy, so we all just started clapping and cheering. Um, the president himself actually came, um, he and his wife Paige, and that was kind of neat because they were still new to the school, it was their first, um, their first year here. Well, on, on one hand, I just had had a good vibe all day that we were going to do so well, and I'd seen them perform before, I had some sense for the other teams who were all, they were all great competitors, all great talent, but there really is something special about our team their dancing skills, but also the chemistry they had. So at one level, it wasn't surprising at all to me uh, when they announced it. And yet, on the other hand, it was so exhilarating to hear that name called out over national television on a live audience, 20 million viewers, and uh, it was for a president of an institution like that, this is just a uh, kind of a once in an administration uh, moment, really. Well, it was so it much was, fun. Uh, it was so much fun. It was thrill, roller coaster. It was. <laughs> It was so much fun. Rewarding. It was yeah. rewarding. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the UVU ballroom dance team. <laughs> After the show, we were actually able to go as a team and sit down around a TV and watch the shows as happening, which was pretty exciting for us because we hadn't actually seen how we performed on TV. After we danced, it felt great. We were all excited, but we hadn't actually seen what the whole country was going to see. I just remember like as a dancer, I'm super critical. Like we're all super judgmental. <laughs> and watching us dance, we were all like, the camera makes us look way better than we actually are. So that was uh, funny to just be like, oh my gosh, we look so good. But a lot of the energy from the show itself happened that night when we were watching in that room, um, sitting in the hotel room, watching on the television. Um, that was probably the pinnacle moment for us. <laughs> <laughs> the experience of dancing with the stars was unreal. I mean, on that stage, right, right when they're saying, okay, and we're on in five, four, three, your heart is beating, you know, and the cha-cha with the girls up there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. This is gonna be so much fun. And there's everyone there watching and the cameras are ready. What this will do for the students is give them excellent resume material. It has also given them professional experience that they would have never received had they not come to college. I believe this is very serious and it'll show employers, future employers for them, these are serious individuals who know how to work very hard, who can take the skill sets that they have and apply them to a problem and be successful of overcoming their problem. One day when I graduate from UVU, I'll go out work in the real world. I'll work with people from many walks of life. And I'll be able to take all this experience I learned from UVU, especially from dancing in the ballroom team and working with others and apply them in my career. It is us taking the things that we're teaching in the classroom, uh, for us the dance studio if you will, but putting it in the real world context which is real world life pressure, competition, everything's uh, on the line and for those kids to come forward and execute with not only what they've been taught in the classroom and the textbook, what they've been studying, but then go perform in that kind of pressure. That's just the kind of thing we want to have happen at UVU. It's illustrative of our commitment to have uh, students graduate not just with a, with a degree but with a resume. Uh, I'm not sure you can burnish your resume better than uh, Dancing with the Stars if you're a dance major at uh, Utah Valley University. I don't think you can get any more engaged than taking a student and placing him 
in the professional arena like Dancing with the Stars did. Uh, we train our dancers to get a degree in ballroom dance. We train them in the history of ballroom dance, the technique, the theory, the different methodologies of teaching. We give them experience by touring. We give them experience by competing in the top competitions in the world. And then to take them and put them on national television with top professionals. Um, for many of these dancers, this is more than what they were projecting their careers to do. You cannot get any more notoriety than national television. This was amazing for them. Well, I think this really is an unprecedented event. I mean, there are very few colleges that ever get this kind of national exposure and focused exposure, and so it's not anything you could ever pay for uh, as, as a university, so we're incredibly proud of this team and, what, and the good it's doing for Utah Valley University. Wow, wasn't that fantastic? And look who we've got with us, the man, the man of the hour. Thanks so much, Scott Asbell, for joining us. Glad to have you. Thank you very much, Ruth. It's good to be here. You know, Scott has guided UVU's ballroom dance team for two decades. And tell us about the moment. What do you remember most about the announcement, the win, and all of the, the things that had gone into that? Tell us that moment. A tremendous amount of work went into this. Uh, it was it was double rehearsals. It was ten hours a day. It was dancers trying to, um, not eating well, trying to keep their health up, and then standing there in the back watching on a big screen TV while my dancers were out there on stage, literally doing the battle. Um, and then the announcement came, and I was in shock. I said, "Yes, this is this is the greatest thing that could have happened for these kids. They deserved it." And I thought it was interesting as you watched the piece. You said they were virtually flawless, and you have a pretty critical eye. They were virtually flawless. Um, I told the kids before we went out, I said, if there was ever a time in your life to punch it, this is it. And punch it, they did. And they did. So you've got this giant show, Dancing with the Stars, one of the top shows for years on American television. What does it mean for the students to win a competition that's associated with such a giant organization? For dance majors, this is the, the, basically the pinnacle of the resumes. Mm -hmm. Um, they will walk into any dance studio, any organization, uh, and audition, and they, they'll say Dancing with the Stars. Anybody will recognize what that company is. You know, a lot of us look at the dancers and say, oh, wow, would I love to be able to do that. I don't think even people that think it's probably pretty hard have any idea as to the commitment, the time, the years of practice. What does it take for these kids to get to that pinnacle point? Some of these dancers have danced 12, 13 years out of 19 in their lives, mm -hmm. or out of 20. And a lot of dancing in those years. A lot of dancing. This is dancing every day of the week, except maybe weekends off. This is dancing all summer long. When friends are at parties, they're at competitions. When friends are having an enjoyable evening watching TV or going to a movie, they're in rehearsal. They're getting ready for their next show. They're getting ready for their next competition. They're getting choreography. Well, so they work their whole lives long, basically, for this moment then. That's right, they do. It seems like it's the apex for them, for sure. It, it can be. Uh, for some of them, this will be a stepping stone to go on to other things, or this will launch their career. Already, several of these dancers have been contacted by professional organizations, by companies that do sh um, touring shows, by teaching organizations. Mm -hmm. um, all of them have been contacted to audition at several different locations. Um, I've lost three girls already, and I think I'm going to lose a boy next semester already to another show. You know, we've talked a lot today about engaged learning, and this actually epitomizes exactly what we've been talking about, don't you think? This is exactly it. This is, this is like a, a, what do you call it, um, when you go out and work for a company for free in your summer like times. An internship. It's an internship, mm -hmm. exactly. But this is an incredible internship all at once. Not only do you get the hard work associated with it, you get the, you get the recognition. These kids will be recognized for a great achievement. Well, like you said, it's the pinnacle piece to put on a resume. What else do these kids come away with? What is uh, one of the takeaways from this experience for them? There was a day when we had ended 10 hours of rehearsal, and there was a young girl um, on the dance team was lying on the floor. And she's a, she's a strong-willed young lady. She's mm -hmm. going to be a great professional. And she was crying, and I've never seen her cry. And I asked her why, and she said, Scott, I can't give anymore. These kids have learned character, and they've learned self-discipline, and they've learned the rewards that come from that. Wow, that's, that's quite a story. But she found more deeper in a reservoir and continued to give. And continued to give. The next day, she was right there at 100%. Wow. 
Well, these kids, they do these highly complicated routines. These are not easy steps or you know, easy choreographed numbers. So I'm thinking about that flip off the stage as one example, and those kids didn't miss a beat. They performed under so much pressure, the eyes of the world watching, and did it flawlessly. They did. Um, I have a, a rule as a coach. You win competitions in rehearsal. You do your best performance for your audiences in rehearsal. All you're doing is sharing your knowledge and your skill with the audience at the other point. Mm -hmm. They had already achieved a couple of days before their peak. Mm -hmm. They were just now sharing that with their audience. And you might even end up with dancing with the stars. That's, That's right. Terrific. That's terrific. Oh, Scott, thank you so much for joining us and hearty congratulations on this super success. Thank you very much. And we thank you for watching Engage. Join us next time for more stories about students who are learning by doing.